my, 21M, girlfriend, 20F, cheated on me with my stepdad, 55M, and now they are getting married. Hi Reddit, I don't even know where to start. My life has been turned upside down in the most unimaginable way. I'm not even sure why I'm sharing this, maybe to find some semblance of sanity or to hear from people who might have experienced similar pain. Here's my story. I, 21M, have been dating my girlfriend, Sarah, 20F, for about three years. We met in college and hit it off instantly. Sarah was everything I ever wanted in a partner, kind, intelligent, and beautiful. We had plans for the future, talked about getting married someday, and starting a family. I was head over heels in love with her. My family situation has always been a bit complicated. My parents divorced when I was 10, and it was a messy breakup. My mom remarried a few years later to my stepdad, Mark, 55M. Mark is a successful businessman, and while we never had a close relationship, he treated my mom well and supported us financially. I never had a reason to dislike him, though we were never particularly close. About a year ago, Sarah started coming over to my mom's house more often. At first, I thought it was great that she was making an effort to get along with my family. She and my mom seemed to get along well, and Mark was always friendly towards her. I had no reason to suspect anything out of the ordinary. However, a few months ago, I noticed that Sarah and Mark were spending more time together, even when I wasn't around. I chalked it up to them bonding over shared interests or Mark offering her advice on her career. But things started to get strange. Sarah would often mention Mark in conversations, praising him excessively, and she started dressing up more whenever we visited my mom's house. I brushed it off, telling myself I was being paranoid. Then, one night, everything came crashing down. I had planned a surprise weekend getaway for Sarah and me to celebrate our anniversary. I was going to propose to her. I had bought a ring and had everything planned out. But the night before we were supposed to leave, I came home early from work to find Sarah and Mark in my apartment. They were kissing on the couch, oblivious to my presence. I felt like the ground had been ripped out from under me. I confronted them, and the truth came spilling out. They had been having an affair for months. Sarah tearfully confessed that she had fallen in love with Mark and that they planned to be together. She told me she was sorry but that she couldn't deny her feelings for him. I was devastated. The woman I loved and the man who had been a father figure to me had betrayed me in the worst possible way. I couldn't stay in that apartment, so I packed a bag and left. I went to a friend's house and stayed there for a while, trying to process what had happened. The days that followed were a blur of pain and confusion. My mom was heartbroken when she found out. She had no idea what had been going on and felt completely blindsided. She and Mark have since separated, and she's filed for divorce. As for Sarah and Mark, they didn't waste any time. They went public with their relationship, and now, just a few months later, they've announced that they are getting married. It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. I feel betrayed, humiliated, and lost. How could they do this to me? How could Sarah choose Mark over me? And how could Mark, who was supposed to be a father figure, do something so cruel? I'm struggling to move on. I had to drop out of college for a semester because I couldn't focus on my studies. I'm seeing a therapist to try and work through my feelings, but it's a slow process. My trust in people is shattered, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to open up to someone again. I don't know what to do, Reddit. Has anyone been through something similar? How do you cope with such a deep betrayal? I feel like I'm drowning in my own pain and anger. Any advice or words of encouragement would be appreciated. Update. Hi Reddit, it's been a few months since I first posted about the nightmare situation with my ex-girlfriend Sarah and my stepdad Mark. I wanted to give you all an update on what's been happening and how I'm doing. First of all, I want to thank everyone who reached out with support and advice. Reading your messages and comments helped me feel less alone during one of the darkest times of my life. It was comforting to know that there were people out there who understood my pain and were rooting for me. After my initial post, I decided to make some major changes in my life. I realized that staying in the same city, surrounded by constant reminders of Sarah and Mark, was not helping me heal. So, I applied to transfer to a different college in another state and was accepted. Moving away was one of the best decisions I've ever made. It gave me the space I needed to start fresh and focus on myself. My therapist has been a lifesaver. We've been working through the trauma and betrayal I experienced, and I've made significant progress. I'm learning to let go of the anger and resentment that was consuming me. It's not an easy process, but I'm getting there, one step at a time. As for my family, things are still complicated. 
My mom finalized her divorce from Mark, and she's been incredibly supportive of me. She's been seeing a therapist too, and we're both trying to rebuild our lives without him. It's brought us closer together, and for that, I'm grateful. Sarah and Mark's relationship has continued, and they went ahead with their wedding plans. I found out through mutual friends that they had a small, private ceremony a few weeks ago. It still stings to think about it, but I'm trying to focus on my own happiness rather than their choices. I reconnected with some old friends from high school who live near my new college. They've been a great support system, helping me adjust to my new environment and keeping me distracted with fun activities. I also joined a few clubs on campus and started volunteering at a local animal shelter, which has been incredibly therapeutic. Recently, I met someone new. Her name is Emily, and she's in one of my classes. We've been hanging out a lot, and she's been really understanding about my past. I'm taking things slow because I'm still healing, but it's nice to have someone to talk to and spend time with. Emily knows about what happened with Sarah and Mark, and she's been very supportive and patient. One thing I've learned through all of this is the importance of self-care and setting boundaries. I'm more cautious about who I let into my life now, and I'm making sure to prioritize my mental and emotional well-being. It's a process, but I'm starting to feel more like myself again. I won't lie and say everything is perfect. There are still days when I struggle with feelings of betrayal and sadness. But those days are becoming less frequent, and I'm learning to manage my emotions better. I'm also learning to forgive, not for their sake, but for mine. Holding on to anger only hurts me in the long run. Looking back, I can see how far I've come since that awful night when I discovered the affair. I'm proud of the progress I've made, and I'm hopeful for the future. Life has a way of surprising you, and I'm starting to believe that there are better days ahead. To anyone going through something similar, please know that it gets better. Surround yourself with supportive people, seek professional help if you need it, and take things one day at a time. Healing is a journey, and it's okay to take it at your own pace. Thank you again to everyone who reached out with kindness and encouragement. Your support meant more to me than I can express. I'll keep pushing forward, and I hope that one day, I'll be able to look back on this chapter of my life with a sense of peace and acceptance. Update 2. Hey Reddit, it's been almost a year since my last update, and I wanted to share how things have been going. Your support has been incredible, and I feel like I owe it to you all to let you know where I am now. After moving to a new city and transferring to a different college, I found a sense of peace I didn't think was possible. My new environment has given me the space and perspective I needed to heal. I'm doing well in my classes, and I've even been considering graduate school. Therapy has continued to be a vital part of my healing journey. Dr. Michaels, my therapist, has been guiding me through the process of rebuilding my trust and self-esteem. We've been working on techniques to manage my anxiety and negative thoughts. I've also been practicing mindfulness and meditation, which have helped me stay grounded and present. My relationship with my mom has grown stronger. We've both come to terms with what happened, and we've been supporting each other in moving forward. She started dating again, and I'm happy to see her smiling and enjoying life. It wasn't easy for her to start over, but she's a resilient woman, and I'm proud of her strength. Emily and I are still together, and our relationship has blossomed. She's been a rock for me, understanding and patient as I navigate my feelings. We've been traveling together, exploring new places, and making beautiful memories. Emily has taught me that love can be kind and supportive, and she's shown me what a healthy relationship looks like. One of the most significant steps I've taken is reconnecting with old hobbies and passions. I've always loved painting, but I had stopped during the turmoil. Picking up a brush again has been therapeutic, allowing me to express my emotions in a healthy way. I've even started selling some of my artwork, which has been a rewarding experience. I also made the decision to reach out to Mark. It wasn't easy, but I felt it was necessary for my healing. We met for coffee, and I told him how deeply he had hurt me. He apologized, and while I can't forget what he did, I found some closure in hearing his remorse. I don't know if we'll ever have a relationship again, but that meeting helped me release some of the anger I was holding on to. Sarah reached out to me as well. She sent me a long email, expressing her regret and asking for forgiveness. It took me a while to respond, but eventually, I did. I told her that while I couldn't forget the pain she caused, I was working on forgiving her for my own peace. It wasn't about reconciling with her, but about freeing myself from the weight of bitterness. Life has a funny way of moving forward, even when it feels like it's standing still. I've learned to embrace change and accept that some things are out of my control. What I can control is how I respond and how I choose to live my life. 
Looking back, I see how far I've come from the person who was devastated and broken by betrayal. I've grown, I've learned, and I've become stronger. The scars are still there, but they don't define me. They remind me of what I've overcome. To anyone reading this who is going through a similar experience, I want to say that it does get better. The pain won't last forever, and you will find happiness again. Surround yourself with people who love and support you, seek help when you need it, and be kind to yourself. Thank you, Reddit, for being a part of my journey. Your support and encouragement have been invaluable. I'm excited about the future and ready to face whatever comes next with hope and resilience. Final update. Hi Reddit, it's been two years since I first shared my story with you all. As I reflect on the journey I've been through, I wanted to give a final update and share the positive changes in my life. After everything that happened with Sarah and Mark, I never imagined I could find peace and happiness again. But life has a way of surprising you, and I'm grateful for the growth and healing I've experienced. Emily and I are still going strong. Our relationship has deepened over time, and we're planning to move in together soon. She's been my anchor, supporting me through my ups and downs. We've talked about our future, and for the first time in a long while, I feel hopeful and excited about what lies ahead. I've also made significant strides in my academic and professional life. I graduated with honors and was accepted into a prestigious graduate program. The sense of accomplishment and pride I feel is indescribable. It's a testament to the hard work and determination I put in to overcome my past. My art has continued to be a source of joy and therapy for me. I've participated in several exhibitions, and the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. Painting has become more than just a hobby, it's a passion that I hope to pursue alongside my career. My relationship with my mom remains strong. She's found happiness again, and seeing her thrive has been a source of inspiration for me. We've become each other's support system, and our bond is unbreakable. As for Sarah and Mark, I rarely think about them anymore. I heard through the grapevine that their marriage hasn't been as blissful as they hoped, but that's no longer my concern. I've moved on, and I've learned to let go of the past. Forgiveness has been a crucial part of my healing process. While I haven't forgotten the betrayal, I've forgiven them for my own peace of mind. Holding on to anger only holds you back, and I've chosen to live a life free from resentment. To anyone who has followed my journey, thank you for your unwavering support. Your words of encouragement and shared experiences have been a source of strength for me. I hope my story can inspire others to keep pushing forward, even when it feels like the world is falling apart. Life is unpredictable, and while we can't control what happens to us, we can control how we respond. I've chosen to respond with resilience, hope, and a commitment to living a fulfilling life. As I close this chapter, I'm excited to see what the future holds. I've learned that happiness is possible, even after the darkest times. I'm ready to embrace the next phase of my life with open arms, surrounded by love, support, and the lessons I've learned along the way. Thank you, Reddit, for being a part of my journey. Your kindness and support have meant more to me than words can express. Here's to a brighter future for all of us.